Hello, hello, my lovely angels. Today we are going to do a drugstore makeup starter kit. Now this is for all the bro girls like me who can't really afford to uh, buy designer products like Dior, Chanel or even things like MAC and everything. It's like out, the product has to be like really good for me to actually go and uh, buy it. And I do try and like try out viral products, but like for now, I'm very happy with my drugstore choices. So today I decided to select the best of drugstore makeup if you're just starting out. So let's start. So first I have a primer and the Elf Buddy Primer. Now I used it initially and I was not very impressed because I was like is it really doing anything but what I was doing was wrong the way I was applying it was not the right way to apply the putty primer I mean come on <laughs> I had to be like it's not a genius thing you just need to but like for some reason I uh, didn't apply it well so you're supposed to like let it melt and then you're supposed to apply a generous amount of uh, product so I just applied on my cheeks where I have some pores and I let it do its magic so it does fill in most of the pores especially when you apply the foundation I'm gonna zoom in so you can see properly but um, it fills up the pores and it gives you a nice satin finish I normally do apply it on my nose as well but right now my nose is <laughs> doing just fine it's not very porous and everything uh, so I'm not going to bother it uh, now for the foundation I have a few choices but it's up to you to choose what you like uh, I'm gonna list all these products in the description box so you can check it out along with the prices and I am going to here somewhere put the name of the product and the price uh, in dollars because <laughs> if when I say dirhams people are like what is she talking about you know but dirham is the currency of uh, UAE so my favorite 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 drugstore uh, foundation is the NYX can't stop won't stop and it's in medium olive this is like my favorite foundation because I don't like very heavy uh, foundations on my face uh, and I like my foundations to be matte but not drying and I don't like them caking up but there are some other foundations I found recently which are really good for example the elf flawless satin foundation and I got this in the shade sand okay it's a pump thingy but you have to shake it a lot and use it and then you also have the she glam uh, skin Flu uh, skin fluenza full coverage foundation and I got this also in the shade sand sand is like the <laughs> safest color buy for me because I think it's like neutral and uh, sorry oh look at my top by the way they're like little teddy bears you know and I have the matching bag as well for it and this one is like I've used it like quite a bit but uh, this is like super high coverage but the elf and the next can't stop won't stop are medium covered so I'm gonna use my favorite one for now I'm just giving you guys options so that you can buy whatever uh, suits your budget and I've got a little uh, neighbor visiting <laughs> so I might have to use like concealer to cover that but all in all and I don't take much I take like about one and a half pump and just see how nicely and quickly can you see that it's amazing like for me i'm like a lazy girl and i like my makeup to go on like super fast especially when i'm getting dressed up in the morning for work like i don't want to like spend hours and okay not hours but like i don't want to be like blending like forever this one is like just like boom 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 it's done and honestly speaking, you don't even need to set this foundation from NYX. But uh, I do set it because I do get oily in my T-zone. And with the Dubai heat, you do tend to... 
you need to let your foundation get set and then step out in the heat. Uh, for concealer, okay, this is a tough choice because yes, I do use a concealer which is not drugstore and I'll show the one I use. But recently I discovered the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hours camo concealer. Now for me, it's very important that the concealer doesn't dry the under eye because then that just creates more crease and like if it's like creamy you can set it and it'll not crease you know so i have two one is from wet and wild and one is from elf the wet and wild one i unfortunately got it in a darker color but i think it's good because it kind of like works as a color corrector and then the elf one i got a color too light and that works well because <laughs> it acts like a a highlight so I just like dab this is not your standard way of doing stuff but whatever like I say anything goes in makeup oh by the way uh, the non drugstore uh, concealer that I like is NARS the NARS spot and I use this in the shade ginger oh wait I forgot to tell you the shades I'm using for this so the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer is in the shade Medium Towny and the e.l.f. concealer is in the shade Light Sand. So next time I'll just go for Medium Sand so I don't have to like mix colors, you know. So let's start blending this. See, it's blending out like a dream. And this is what I like. I like concealers that do this. It's like flawless. guys and everybody tells you like the right way the wrong way of applying concealer just do what like suits you it's all about testing and trying and getting things right for yourself i'm just gonna quickly put on i'm just gonna quickly put on this sheen uh, i uh, what do you call this <laughs> Ew, so professional it's ready set primer so it's the uh, eye primer and i'm just gonna use my fingertips to blend it now for the setting powder i honestly use any setting powder like i know like some people swear by certain uh setting powders but, but for me anything works like the maybelline fit me is like my favorite this is in the shade 15 light and <laughs> i don't know why i did that but uh, this one is good like it lasts forever I've been using it like for a year and a half and I still have like so much product left you know and then I have this and it begins why never mind like people ask God like God why did you give me these troubles blah blah I'm like God why did you why can't why did you make me so stupid while opening products so I use the Shein one under my eye because it is very light and it comes with this little puffy thing and it just sets the under eye so well. Now when I'm setting the under eye I normally do that actually so that it uh, goes into all my fine lines and I do have a lot of fine lines because again I smile and when I smile I'm like so the other powder from Maybelline, I just dust it over myself and I do it like very mildly, like I'm, I'm not like super generous. You know? and uh, next I'm going to go in with uh, eye shades and there are so many palettes, so many palettes like from Elf, from Wet n Wild, from NYX, from Maybelline, from L'Oreal, uh, there's like endless amount of uh, uh, shades you can get but I want to give a shout out to Lemonville because ever since I received this in PR I have non-stop been using it especially this chocolate palette and I'll show you how much I've used like you know they're so pigmented and they blend so well they have this one in vanilla look at the colors like you can just use one palette to create like a proper look then this is the coffee palette also I've used quite a bit of it 
and they have sent me a new one called cinnamon for this season and it's a brand new pack and look at the colors <gasps> it's like red magenta then you have some shimmers and everything but i'm thinking i'll save this because i'm, I'm planning to do a holiday look and i'll use it for that so for now because i'm wearing this brownie thingy brownish thingy i will use the coffee palette wait what was it vanilla yeah let's use the vanilla this is like interesting right so i'm gonna do a simple very very simple look just gonna take a transition shade which is the this one i'm just gonna create a base and a transition like i said if you hold your brush at the back See like this, these brushes, I got it from Beauty Bay and like when I dip it in water, they start cracking, you know, so not so happy about that, but they're just a brushes. So now that we have a nice palette ready for us to dab on some more colors, we will take a darker shade. Let's take, let's take this one so that when I put the green, it makes sense. Or we will build it up later with this but like for now let's just take this shade and I will work it in the corner what I like to do is I keep my eye open and I create the shape I want for my eye and then I can just fill it in you know I don't know this is just the easiest way for me to you know do my eye makeup I'm gonna dip into this darker color and give my corners a little bit of depth and now I'm gonna take actually you know what let me make my lid a little bit darker just so that when I put the green shade it should look like a halo so I'm gonna take this highlight and just Create a slight highlight. Now I do look like a clown right now, but bear with me. And now I'm gonna take the nice green shade and I'm going to left hand right hand this is what happens when you wear false nails and they're too big for you to control them <laughs> now i'm going to take a fluffy brush and i'm going to take this dark color again and i'm just going to blend and i'm going to take a narrow brush take the same dark color and create the under eye why am i talking like this what's wrong with me it's like i'm teaching a class oh by the way talking about class i am not a professional muA i just do stuff on myself what i feel looks good and i just you know now i'm gonna take a giant ass <laughs> giant ass brush and I'm just gonna blend everything together, especially on the corners. See how easy that was? And this is like a lot of time I've spent on my eyes. Usually it's like barely like three minutes and I'm done with my eye makeup. Now, 
I love. Okay, at this point, I would suggest that you actually let's do the eyebrow as well and then we will do the setting spray because you don't want to put any liquid stuff on your face after you have uh, before you have done your setting spray so this is like a retractable brow pencil by wet n wild so it has a spoolie on the other side and it has this interesting shape like a triangle initially when i started using this i was like what's happening you know like it was like so weird but now oh my god i feel this thingy this shape is so amazing because it literally catches all my brow and then i just have to use turn it and create the point and it's done like i don't have to do anything so i just like love this thingy and the color is like perfect for my skin tone and for the looks i create i also like to like just go in with the spoolie it just makes it look a little more natural i mean everybody knows women <laughs> it's not like we're like fooling anyone with the makeup i have forgotten to bronze my face <laughs> okay so the bronzer i've been liking right now so i don't really do the whole contour and bronze and everything because it's just too many layers you know so I just go with a bronzer and this is from Wet n Wild and it's the shade What Shady Beaches. <laughs> it cracks me up. I know it's not supposed to but it's so funny. <laughs> and yeah, this is going to mix all the, your under eye, your foundation, your concealer, your eye makeup everything is just gonna look so cohesive now just because of the bronzer i do create this chin situation so that so that my jaw looks so uh, how long has this been down was it annoying you guys because it does annoy me when i see people not in control of their clothes <laughs> you know what's wrong with me there's another cheek palette now this is they have also sent me like three different ones so for three different styles there's a cool warm and like a super dark one if you're going for a glam look and this is again from lemon Bell. so i'm just gonna go over this bronzer which is very crusty because i've almost hit pan on it and i'm just gonna give a little depth on the corners and just a little bit under my eye and now for the blush I am going to use the same palette from Lemonville and I just love this one so much so but I'm gonna use like a couple of them so I'm gonna show you um, okay so first I'm gonna do this one just to create like a little nice ombre for uh, the blush and the bronzer then you have this elf putty uh, blush and this is if I'm not mistaken this was in the shade Tahiti but I can't see the font is too tiny I'm just gonna take like a stippling brush and take a bit of that and then give myself a little pinky blushy thingy I'm gonna show you the other side of my face so you can compare so can you see the difference between the two sides yeah but it's not looking like pink you know and by the way you should use a little additional blush because blush is the uh, product that disappears on your face the fastest so don't be afraid to use some extra blush and you will look like a monkey for a bit but uh or a circus clown i don't know but uh, when you step out it's gonna be amazing so now we're gonna set our face with the setting spray this is probably the most handy thing i've bought ever actually ali bought this 
It was from Miniso shop. Uh, just a portable fan. Okay, so now that the setting is done, now we can start using the liquid products. So we have so many eyeliners. I mean, eyeliners are like, I don't even know what to say because like, okay, you have this one from Wet n Wild, you have another one from Wet n Wild. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have this from uh, the liquid one from e.l.f. And like you can use just about any but as of now I've been using the Lash Glue by Kiss and this is an eyeliner as well as a lash glue. So two in one. So why not? So what I'm gonna do is create a super thin line and then create the shape that I want and then I'm gonna hope and pray to God that I don't mess it up <laughs> and I messed it up so I've put my lash glue and I'm gonna very quickly go with the mascara so my current favorite is the Maybelline Sky High and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise choose your poison <laughs> So I'm gonna quickly go with this because I don't want my lash glue to dry up and I'm not gonna do much to my lashes just a tinge so that it doesn't look less dark than because it's right now it's just coated with products you know and then I'll quickly take my lash I use the lashes like from anywhere this one I think was from Shein and these are just for the corner of the eye because I like my eye to look lifted and not to bog down and there I'll just put it on the corner like that don't hesitate you know like while putting your lashes like don't hesitate just like go for it quickly the more you plan right like okay let me like will it look good here or there it's gonna mess up you know I have a little thingy I want to do I'm going to take the chocolate eyeshade palette and very carefully <laughs> very carefully take a very dark shade which is this one and I'll just do my outer corner like that like I said there's no hard and fast rule of doing anything when it comes to makeup do what makes you feel good and have confidence when you're wearing it and you'll be fine <laughs> right. lipsticks um okay lipsticks really like i don't want to do them because it's like there's so many of them like how do i choose okay i'll go with lip liner first because like nyx lip liners i don't think anybody can beat nyx lip liners this is in the shade cold brew and it's blunt <laughs> i'm just gonna still use it so I start with like a little uh, overline you know I like my lower lips I'm not so fond of my upper lip and I'm thinking of getting fillers but like everyone is like don't do it don't do it Okay, so my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick for daily use is the NYX Lingerie Push-Up. So they come like crayons and it's so beautiful. And they have different colors and you can choose whatever. I like two shades, that's Seduction and Exotic. Then you have the Shein, sorry, She Glam lipstick. This is the one with the magnetic cap. It's very nice. This is in the shade Love Language. This is the favorite color of mine. I have plenty of colors in that. And recently I got this uh, Wet n Wild, it's a nice purpley shade and I'm thinking what color I should wear right now. <laughs> and then there's this brown color from e.l.f. which is also very nice and it's so cheap, I think it was like $4 or something. And then of course you have the Lemonville lipsticks which are like, <gasps> like <sighs> these are matte and they don't dry your lips. Okay, I'm thinking I might go for this guy. And I have like a lot of NYX lipsticks like in this uh, suede thingy like I have like multiple nudes like nudes 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 which one should I go for? Damn it! Okay, 
Okay, let me try the She Glam because this is like the brightest one. Is it good enough? I think it looks nice. See, now if you notice, the blush is already disappearing. So this is what happens, like you use like a lot of blush and it just disappears in your skin and yeah. So I need to color my hair. Can you see all my whites? Yeah. I have like a lot of premature grays uh, and I think I did a little bit too much under my eye. And I will quickly correct that by using the Maybelline loose powder, the Fit Me loose powder. Because it is looking a little bit too bright. I mean, people like doing that, but like, I think, oh my God, no, it's too much. So yeah, now I'm happy. Now, some people go in with a setting spray again, but I can't because like, if you're wearing uh, mascara that is not waterproof or if you're wearing eyeliner, which is not waterproof, you know, you're gonna have things <laughs> coming down. And normally then your uh, mascara also starts uh, what do you call it like um, what do you call those like flake it's like flaky and then it starts falling over here and then over the day it's like it's a whole mess you know uh, okay so I have this last product which I like to do in the end just because I I can control the intensity then this is the halo glow wet and wild blush lighter so it's a blush and a highlighter the thing is that I don't like using highlights so this product was like a godsend. Look at that. So I mix both the colors and I just put it over the high points of my face. Just when the blush is, <laughs> the sun is setting on the blush, just do that. And you have like a nice glow and I like it. So. These were all my favorite drugstore products. They are very cheap, very reasonable, very affordable. And I'm drinking decaf because my doctor has told me not to have too much coffee so I can only have one cup a day, which is like... Saddest day of my life. <laughs> so yeah, now you can actually, after you've done your makeup, you can go in with correcting your uh, eyeshade the way you want. Like I would prefer the dark portion to go a little higher and I would like to create like a little highlight over here with my concealer but like that's when I'll do a full glam and I would actually go through all that trouble like for right now. It's a surprise that I actually tried like so many colors on my eye and like I hope you enjoyed this like um, yeah I'm trying to do different stuff and trying to uh, bring you guys like a bit more entertaining videos and I know like a past couple of videos I was so low and that was like me coming to terms with the fact that I have fibromyalgia and that I have to live with it all my life and it wasn't easy mentally it wasn't easy like everybody goes through like stuff and I understand and no one's uh, pain is lesser than the other so I was like just trying to maintain my own composure and try to come to acceptance that okay it's there now what can i do about it how do i move on you know so yeah now i'm like much better with a positive mind state mental state <laughs> uh, i am much better but i am still a bit foggy um so i keep forgetting things i keep forgetting names i keep forgetting uh tasks i am a bit lost when people are talking to me but that'll get better so hopefully everything will be fine and i'll keep bringing you content that you like and um, please pray for me and um, I love you guys so much I love you guys so much my dream is to become independent enough so that I can quit my 9 to 5 and 9 to 6 <laughs> and um, do this full time like I love creating content and uh, I would like yeah I don't like doing 9 to 5 and that's my dream like I should become self-sufficient and ultimately hopefully if i grow a lot i can own my own house i can take care of my family like there's so much of things i want to do and you guys have been supporting me watching my videos just hit and hit the like and subscribe button and uh, 
click the notification bell if you if you want to get alerted of my new videos now i'm just rambling on so i better shut up and go <laughs> love you guys bye